What's good, y'all? Marion Gates, also known as Phenomenon. If you're new to this channel, subscribe, hit that notification bell, comment, like, and if you really enjoy my content, share it. LeBron James, 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 LeBron James. So, I've been looking at my comment sections and I've been seeing guys bring up Caitlin Clark. I guess because she's been getting love on my channel. You know. I guess I'll see what's going to happen when football season starts because I can't wait for football season. I'm going to see what these guys going to have to say about these other players. Patrick Mahomes is my favorite football player, so I'm sure guys are going to be looking at Patrick Mahomes. Now, Caitlin Clark and LeBron James. Some guys say that they're both overrated. They'll say, you know, Caitlin Clark is overrated because of the attention she's getting and the fact that she didn't win. Now, if you're somebody that's been on this channel and you are consistent in your viewpoint about winning, your criteria is consistent, then I'm cool. But you LeBron fanboys, I don't want to hear that. I don't. Because y'all make all these, y'all tell me all the time, oh, well, he got there. He got to the finals. He got to the finals. Didn't Caitlin Clark get to the championship game twice? And unlike the NBA in professional sports, you don't get another chance. You lose one, it's one game. One game. If you have a bad game in that championship moment, it's over for you. If you don't have any other guys or or to come along or women that, that, that ball out, it's over for you. It's one game. So I'm not making any excuses for her losing. But I'm talking about you guys that sit there and make all these excuses for LeBron and then all of a sudden when Caitlin Clark comes, now it's about accountability. Did she win? And now it's about winning again. LeBron didn't win until he joined Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh. And he didn't win immediately either. The first year on his super team, he choked. He lost. There is no excuse for 2011. So I don't want to hear that. And y'all always bring up his age when he lost and against the San Antonio Spurs in 07. What y'all say? He's only 22 years old. He's young. How old is Kate Clark? 22 years old. So what 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 why? Why do you fanboys feel that this poke your chest out and want to talk cash about Caitlin Clark when when we say these same exact talking points about your your your, your king? All of a sudden. Now y'all got amnesia. I don't even say Caitlin Clark is the greatest player of all time. But I'm not going to compare a college career to a professional career. Professional career, you're playing with the best players ever. If you're great enough to get there, you gonna, you play in a series. You need to show up. She didn't show up that game. She showed up in the first quarter. She still had a, a, a good game, but it was not a great game. Her shooting percentage was horrible 10 for 28 i watched that game i saw her get ripped there are there are uh, parts of her game that uh, hopefully she work on before the season starts like her handle needs to get tightened up a little bit more because they was ripping her and i saw her lose control of the ball multiple times there are aspects of her game that can be critiqued but she's still able she's still able to develop LeBron didn't come in the league as a complete package. I don't think there's ever been a player that came in the league that was a complete package. I don't expect her to be a complete package. I don't expect her to come in her first season and throw up 30 because most females don't even throw up that much. Most women's, in women's basketball, the highest points per game is held by Diana Taurasi. And Cynthia Cooper came into the league dominant but she was also older. She wasn't a young whippersnapper coming into the league. She was a very experienced player. So I expect Caitlin Clark. 
I think that she is great, great for the game, and I'm rooting for her because I think that she will be good for women's basketball. She will bring attention to the other star players. She will raise the level of competition, and she will get better as the years go by. I don't expect her to immediately come in and be the best player in the league. I don't think anybody is saying that. She might be one of the best. I mean, Jordan was one of the best players the moment he got into the league. So we'll see. We'll see. Can she score 16 points per game? Because that's that's great for women's basketball. She's not coming in. I don't think she's coming in scoring 20 plus points a game. We'll see though. You never know. It depends on the system, how she plays. If she has better teammates, I think she will help the Fever have a better record. But we'll have to see. But I'm not about to automatically throw her in LeBron James category because she ain't sitting here saying that right there made me the greatest player of all time she's not up here crying and making excuses she she cried because she lost but she didn't throw her teammates under the bus she didn't sit there and make a whole bunch of excuses you know if i were to play for uconn or one of those teams or i didn't have all the complimentary players we never heard her say that she didn't say all these things lebron james I never said, not one time in any of my videos, I said, this dude is just the worst, most garbage player ever. I think he's manufactured. I think he's overrated. But I've always held that I think he's one of the greatest players of all time. He's not the GOAT. My, my issue is him calling himself the GOAT. I don't think he's the GOAT. I think there are several players that, are, that I will rank above him. Several. Now, there's some people... Now, if he's on that on that 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 Balco, if he on that Balco, that's a whole different story. Then he's out. But if he's not, I cannot sit here and with a straight face and be like, he's not one of the greatest players of all time. I knock, he knocked, he fell down my list. He was higher up on my list. The more I've watched him not play defense, flop, make excuses. The, 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 the less respect I lose for him the more respect I lose for him I'm in the more respect I lose for him because when you're an all time great when you're when they're talking about your leadership all the aspects that they hit all the talking parts they hit talking points they love to bring up about him turn to be false He's this great leader, yet you see him pouting, yet you see him throwing fish, yet you see him acting like a, a, a spoiled child, yet you see him making excuses. That's not great leadership. I don't know who told y'all this. They brag about his IQ. He always makes the right play. No, he does not. He does not always make the right play. These are lies, flat out lies. All this hype, that's hype. I don't hear nobody say Caitlin Clark always makes the right play. And she's this flawless basketball player. This unstoppable force, unbeatable force. What they're saying is she's a superstar. Which means she has the name, the recognition, the cachet, the aura. All those things necessary that, that women's basketball has been begging for. That's what they're saying. To say she's the GOAT, I think that's not true. I disagree with that, but you don't hear me calling her the GOAT either. I agree. You cannot be the GOAT unless you win championships. Championships do matter. You can put up all the wonderful numbers and then the, the fact that now she had played excellent in the championship game and you'd be like, hey, she did everything she could. She did do the best that she could, but one person can't beat a whole team. And that team was the better team, and the better team won. But basketball is a team sport. Now, college, I look at different from the pros. Michael Jordan only won one championship. I don't think he's the greatest college player to ever play because he doesn't have, he can't make the same argument as Kareem. Some people look at his NBA career and be like, well, if he's the best NBA player to ever play, and that means no, it does. It's not the same. To be dominant in college, you have to win chips. So Kareem is the greatest college player to ever play. Arguably the greatest high school player to ever play. Art, right, the greatest basketball career. 
if we're talking about full body from high school to college to the pros that's better than LeBron can never say that because he never played for college so this is what I look at Caitlin Clark we will see can she be the greatest woman's basketball player ever the, the WNBA is the highest level of women's professional sports so if she wins multiple titles there then she enters that conversation and she has to win multiple they have Tamika Kessins ranked like number two she only has one she won and she played for the Indiana Fever so their criteria Maya Moore was dominant she got she got four of them things Cynthia Cooper got four of them things yeah, they rate Dieta higher than her, even though Dieta has less championships because uh, they they count a whole lot of other stuff. But to me, I and and Cynthia didn't have the ability to have this longevity. I think if she'd been able to, she came in younger, she won four or she won multiple, it would be no question. So she didn't get the opportunity. That's the only reason why. But to me, she's the greatest female basketball player ever. Greatest WNBA player ever. But we'll see. I asked the question, can she save the WNBA? Can she bring recognition to the NBA? I didn't say, is she the GOAT? Can she be the GOAT? She's not in that conversation yet. It's too early for that. I never said she was the GOAT of female college basketball. But y'all fanboys like to come on this channel and just jump because y'all try to defend LeBron. Y'all find a way. It doesn't matter what. Y'all find a way. To bring up LeBron. It can have nothing to do with LeBron. And y'all find a way. Or if I say something about LeBron. Now you want to bring up Caitlin Clark. And bring up these other people. They ain't got nothing to do with this conversation. Nothing. Anything I say about your, about your king is true. You can bring up his 40,000 points. And 10K, 10K. And. All that, and I'm going to bring up them championship losses. That still doesn't make him the GOAT. That's all I'm saying. You can bring up whatever stats you want to bring up. Will Chamberlain got all types of records. Does that mean he's not the GOAT? All types of records. 72 of them to be exact. He holds more records than LeBron. Not Nan Ty, are we calling him the GOAT? Only Scottie Pippen and a few, few people. Kareem. And a whole bunch of people calling him the GOAT. He in a conversation, but he's not winning it. And people got recency bias, so they'll wait to have somebody retire, then Kareem will move back up. He'll move up above LeBron. He'll move above LeBron. It's only a matter of time. It's going to be the next guy they compare to Jordan. You fanboys are going to be hurt. It's going to shock y'all when he retires. That's why LeBron tried to stay as long as possible because he felt like the longer he's in there, the longer he's in the conversation, the longer that people will start to forget. And he won't fall because he saw what happened with Kobe. As soon as Kobe came out of the league, everybody was like, huh? When we say he was number two? LeBron ain't trying to have that happen. But anyway, y'all tell me y'all thoughts in the, in the comment section and y'all take care.